Now, I'm just going to do a very brief survey of the Ghana case. I was just having a conversation earlier about when I travel, people, when I say I'm from Guyana, they think I'm from Ghana, right? And what you're about to see, that the similarity perhaps extends beyond the name. Now, Ghana discovered oil in 2007. The national elections is in 2008. Production starts in 2010, all right? Just keep these key dates in mind. 2007, oil discovery, production 2010, all right? So they too, they have an independent central bank, meaning there's legislation that says the central bank is independent, it sets its own monetary policy, etc. like in Guyana. There are two dominant political parties, fairly even political support, like in Guyana. They have a Revenue Management Act, and the key point I want to emphasize about the Act is that 70% of oil forecast for a given year, 70% of oil forecast for a given year, can be allocated to the fiscal purse. And they've established a stabilization fund. Now, Guyana has recently passed two legislations, one relates to revenue management, and the other relates to what we call a national resource fund, basically a, a sovereign wealth fund, okay? Oil discovery, 2007, production starts in 2010. Now this is just fiscal deficits in Ghana as a percentage of GDP. Please note the enormous increase in the fiscal deficit from 2007. Total debt as a percentage of GDP has also increased, of course, not as compared to the previous years, but it's certainly on the rise since oil discovery. Interest payments, same story one would expect with rising debt in Ghana. From 2007, interest payments as a percent of GDP has escalated. And you're about to see a starting statistic in a minute about interest payments in Ghana. In 2015, the interest payments on debt in Ghana was 9.5 billion. I promise you this is not a typo. I promise you this is not a typo. Interest payments, 9.5 billion, Ghanaian dollars, not US, of course. In the same year, the budgetary allocations for housing and water, agriculture, transport, trade and industry, fisheries, health, whatever, was 952 million. Please note the stark contrast between payments for debt and allocated to key sectors. <clears throat> Obviously, they were mistaken about their ability to pay, yeah? Recall that I said at the beginning, Ghana has a central bank that is independent by legislation. Now what we have here is the central bank of Ghana financing the government. I want to be very clear what I mean by financing. It could mean the central bank is selling its gold in exchange for US dollar and then purchase Ghanaian dollars and give it to the government. It could mean the central bank taking its, its, its holdings of reserves in other currencies, selling that in the market, acquiring Ghanaian dollars and giving that to the government. This is how financing can take shape, all right? And it increased dramatically since 2007. Now, economists recommend that every country keeps enough reserves, enough foreign currency in the central bank to cover three months of imports. All right? Anything below three months, it's an indication of crisis. Recall that production starts in 2010, discovery was 2007. Please note that the three-month import cover at the Central Bank of Ghana declined since oil discovery. All right? And of course, this makes sense given the Central Bank financing. They were selling their reserves to fund government expenditure. So the Ghanaian story is familiar. Rapid foreign exchange depreciation, massive inflation, and please note that the central bank financing of government increased by 640%. And this didn't happen over two decades or three decades. <coughs> it happened between 2008 and 2014. All right? Um, another point I want to make. I did say that the Revenue Management Act indicates that 70% of oil forecasts can be budgeted. Please note, these are not revenues, these are forecasts. In 2011, the oil forecast was 1.2 billion Ghanaian dollars. Actual revenue was 600 million. In 2012, the forecast was 1 billion. Actual revenue was half. Obviously, this is where central bank financing came in, to fund the difference, because 70% of those forecasts were budgeted, all right? Who are doing the forecast? Very important question to ask. All right? And that's the study you can check for all the details. I'm going to move on. 